Want to upgrade your work experience? Want to get more work done and enjoy doing it more? Then a simple way to do that is to upgrade the hardware that you're working with. In all likelihood, you will use this every single day. So why not make sure that it's a pleasant experience and that you're able to get as much work done as possible? A good place to start is by making an awesome home office. To begin with, that means getting the right computer, one which will be powerful enough to handle any software you work with regularly, and then some. Later on in this video series, I'm going to talk about the importance of self-development, learning new skills in order to advance your capabilities, and so on. And one example of this is to learn 3D modeling. Now, 3D modeling lets you create stunning 3D logos, video openers, and more. And it can really add to your repertoire and set you apart from other marketers or help you to improve your own branding. To do things like this, you need to have power. That's why I recommend getting yourself a beefy computer, you know, something with an i7 processor that you can overclock to 3 plus plus gigahertz and something backed up with powerful graphics capabilities. A GTX 1060, 1070 or 1080 will make your machine highly future proof and will make it powerful enough to play all the latest games too. As a marketer, you will likely be doing a lot of writing whether that's writing blog content or emails. Either way, it's important to think about how this is going to affect your finger health. You need to make sure you do everything you can to avoid the possibility of RSI, that's repetitive strain injury. And to do that, you should look into getting yourself a better keyboard. The best keyboards for writers are mechanical keyboards. These are keyboards with satisfyingly clicky keys. They last longer than the membrane keyboards found on cheap laptops and they're highly enjoyable to type on. Many people consider the ideal switch for typing to be the Cherry MX Blue switches. I'm also a fan of the rapid fire keyboards that require a little less power and force in order to reach the actuation point. I recommend trying out a few of these keyboards in store in order to make sure that you like the typing experience. Finally, to round out the experience, I also recommend getting an ultra-wide monitor. Ultra-wide monitors have been shown to boost productivity by as much as 30%, and this is because they allow much more efficient multitasking, letting you have multiple different elements on the screen at once without having to keep switching between tasks. This is also ideal for anyone who works with spreadsheets as you'll be able to stretch them out wide and see lots of columns all on one screen at once. A multi-monitor setup can do similar things but isn't ideal as it means having a large divide in the middle made up of the monitor bevels. Furthermore, having a single monitor means having fewer wires and cables and taking up less space on your desk. With your computer in place, you can now start to design the rest of your office around it. A basic key thing to consider in this regard is that the space needs to be comfortable and somewhere that you enjoy working. A good starting point is to make sure the office is a separate room in the house. Now, this is important because it will mean it isn't prone to getting untidy or disorganized, you know, these are things that can prevent you from feeling relaxed while working. At the same time, you should also make sure that your office is decorated with things you find inspiring or just want to be around. You're going to be working here every single day for the most part, so why not turn it into a place that you love to be? You know, something that makes you feel inspired and productive. Some lighting can make a big difference in this way, as can a cool ornament or two. Try to keep the room tidy and clear too and make sure that you have a large surface to use as your desk and that you have plenty of drawers for storing various items in as well. 
While having a powerful computer and a base of operations can make a big difference to your mental health as an internet marketer, it's also a good idea to create something of a mobile command center. In other words, spend some time collecting all the items you'll need to work productively on the move and make sure this is also something you look forward to doing. If you're someone who struggles with staying productive and avoiding distractions, now, even with the tips we've outlined so far, then a good strategy would be to try working in a coffee shop. Now, coffee shops provide free Wi-Fi, power, and a place to sit. They also provide coffee, which is ideal for stimulating the brain. What's more, though, is that they're highly conductive to productivity because of their vibe. The quiet chatter of people in the background, the smell of the coffee, the other people all beavering away on their various laptops, all of this puts you in a state where you feel ready to be productive. Better yet, you'll probably find it's hard to get distracted when you're working in coffee shops. You won't feel like you should be browsing YouTube or playing games because other people can see you. You'll most likely get your head down and work, and this is a great way to force yourself into that productive state. I used to work in coffee shops every day of the week, and while I would spend a fair amount of money on coffee... I found that I got so much extra work done that it actually paid for itself. Sometimes I could write as much as 30,000 words by working this way. That's how I cultivated my productive mindset, and now I'm able to work nearly as effectively from home. So, what hardware should you consider getting if you want to create the perfect mobile command station? Well, first off, look for a computer with great engineering. This should be something beautifully made and joyous to hold and work with. Look for a high-resolution display and a comfortable keyboard. Again, you need to want to work with this and to feel great when you do so. I highly recommend the Surface Pro line of devices from Microsoft or their Surface Books. These computers have high resolutions, they run quickly with decent specifications, and they're very light and convenient. The ability to write on the screen with the stylus creates a lot more possibilities for design work and also means you can sign off Word documents and PDFs. Things like this are small, but they make your business look that much more professional and they make you feel like a better worker too. When I upgraded from my old HP to a Surface Pro, I found myself really looking forward to getting into cafes to work. What's more though, I could now run software like Illustrator and make proper vector images to use as logos. Likewise, I was able to start sketching designs and I could learn coding in Unity. The hardware made me feel more professional. It gave me more belief in myself. It extended my capabilities. And for those reasons, it helped me to start doing better work and earning more. You need to spend to accumulate, and if you can invest in better tech, you will earn more. This is similar to the approach taken by investors. Often, traders will be encouraged to splash out on expensive items, and the idea behind this is that it actually makes them more likely to become big earners. Sounds strange, but by acting like a success, you often find that you become one. But what if you can't afford better tech like this, even as an investment? Well, one answer is to take out a loan, and a great way to do that is through PayPal. If, like most marketers, you're currently getting paid through PayPal, then you'll be able to get a loan through the website called PayPal Working Capital. Now, this isn't the cheapest loan, and a credit card loan is a better option in that regard, especially if you can find one with zero APR. But the great thing about it is there's no deadline, and the interest is agreed up front as a single fee. That means you can take your time paying it off. Better yet, the repayments are taken directly from your earnings as they come through PayPal. So if you normally earn $100 a day and you need to pay back your loan in installments of 10% of your earnings every day, then you can simply start earning 10% more until the loan is paid off and not even feel it. Better yet, 
If you struggle to find work or the business goes slowly for any other reason, you'll not face penalties or see damage done to your credit score. Better yet, you can probably claim all of this back on your tax as an expense. Now, check with your accountant first, but usually that means you can get money off the cost of new laptops, new software, or anything else that you use to upgrade your working experience and workflow. And even better is that this also applies to the interest you're paying, essentially cutting a third or so off the cost of the loan. The great thing is that most internet marketers like technology. After all, that's why you probably became a marketer to begin with. So using these tips, you can now start getting all kinds of awesome things that you've always wanted. You know, a smart new phone, a great computer, a fancy keyboard, a beautiful monitor and not feel the impact financially. I'm about to take this even further by building an office pod in our garden. This is a beautiful installation that will become a home office and let in plenty of light. It's freestanding, made of glass, and it will give me lots of space to add a large desk and lots of tech. It's tax deductible, I can buy it through PayPal Working Capital and it will add a lot of value to my property. So it's a no-brainer. We've talked a little about how to upgrade your tech and how this can make you a better digital marketer. But now I want you to consider upgrading your wardrobe too. This is important for when you meet clients in person and especially if you're a marketer who likes to find clients in the real world a lot. It's also great for attending networking events. But you know what else? It's also important for your own sense of achievement and for the law of attraction. They say, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And this is very true. If you currently work unshaven in stained t-shirts, then you aren't going to feel your most productive. Think of the film Limitless, about the man who takes the brain-boosting drug NZT and use it to become a highly successful trader, author and eventually politician. What's the first thing he does when he takes the pill? He tidies his home, gets a haircut and puts on a suit. Just like taking breaks, this feels like an indulgence but it's crucial to doing your best work. I recommend taking some time out on a coming weekend and using it to upgrade your wardrobe. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.